Hey guys, you're very welcome to my channel. It's Roisin Curie here and I'm going to show you another little sketching video. So the subject of this video is a strawberry cake. Well, it's um, a Victoria sponge with strawberries on top and my younger daughter baked it for her older sister, well for the family, to celebrate her older sister's first job and that was a big celebration for us. If this job marked my older daughter's first job and it led on to loads of other fantastic things so it was a real celebration that evening that summer evening in June we all traipsed out to the restaurant across the river from us over in Galway and we had a lovely evening and it was all very lovely and this sketch is a way for me to bring it all back to me so today I'm going to share with you the little video of the sketch I made but I'm also going to tell you how I got into sketching because there's not a vast amount to tell you about this sketch other than the usual stuff that you already know about how I sketch with ink, with watercolour, um, with all that good stuff. So I hope you enjoy it. Well it was 2012. I was in my early 40s, mid 40s and I still really hadn't found my mojo as an artist. I was very aware that there was something hidden just beneath the surface that I could not bring to the light and get my hands on and turn on like a tap and all that good stuff. And it was driving me crazy. It was driving me crazy. And in tandem with this, I was getting rejected left, right and centre from everyone and anyone. Publishers, agents, literary agents, artists, agents, galleries, you name it. They're all telling me, please go away. Please go away and stop bothering us. Thank you very much. Anyway, there you go. That was the scene. I'd had a couple of children's books published by that time, but that wasn't what it was about. I even had a successful business going at that, at that time that was also an art based business, but that also wasn't what it was about. There was something missing. Anyway, early 2012, off me and my family traipsed to Mauritius. We went to live there for six months because my dear husband, Marcel, is half Mauritian. He's a Londoner, but he's half Mauritian. And he had always held Mauritius in his heart as a beautiful place, a tropical island in the middle of the Indian Ocean that he would like to go and spend some time in. And off we went three kids in tow. They were very young at the time. The youngest was just seven and our eldest was just going on 12. Landing there was crazy. It was it was January, which is the height of the Mauritian summer, being slightly below the equator. And it was so hot, so uncomfortable. And within a few weeks, I had been given a birthday present. My mum, Cinny, my wonderful mum, had insisted on on, on, on packing, on, on sending my birthday presents in my already overstuffed suitcase with me. And I was thinking, I can't fit this in, I can't fit this in. But my mum had wrapped it so prettily in pink paper with a huge pink ribbon. And what could I do? Off it came with us. And that was the book that ended up changing everything for me. It was called Everyday Matters and it's written by Danny Gregory. And I know Danny has changed the lives of so many with his with his miracle sketching thing that he also stumbled across as well. I started to read and it was about Danny who picked up sketching at a difficult time in his life. And I was sitting by the pool at the time. It was another roasting, sizzling, uncomfortably hot day. And I looked at the pool, this beautiful turquoise pool in front of us in, in our villa. And I said to myself, I said out loud, like, a, like, a, like an odd person, I said, why am I not sketching? And bear in mind, I'd been drawing and painting all my life since the age of about four. But I had never really picked up sketching as a, as a habit, as, a, as an addiction, an obsession. And I said to myself, why am I not sketching? And in that moment, I knew my life was about to change and I can't explain any more about it than that. But I did know that it was about to change. And I started sketching the birthday presents that my children had given me. They were sitting on the table beside me because I brought a few art things with me to Mauritius. And within a week or so, I'd sketched everything I could think of in the in the villa. And I took our little car and I started venturing out into the island. And within that six month period, I had travelled everywhere all over the tiny island, sketched everything from Hindu temples to mosques, to beaches, to markets, to people, to everything. I, I just couldn't stop. It just it, it, it took me over and it became something that I, I, I ate, I drank, I slept. I just 
took it on and I joined Urban Sketchers that same year, the worldwide organisation of Urban Sketchers. And I realised this was it. I had found my tribe, my home. And, you know, that has never changed from that day to this. I bring my little sketchbook wherever I go. I, I sketch in the evening, I sketch in the morning, I sketch at the bus stop, I sketch on a plane, I sketch on my holidays, I sketch everywhere. I sketched last night in front of the TV. I I I do it all the time. I love it. I teach it. I share it. It changed my life. It brought me happiness and peace and serenity, which is why I am so evangelical about bringing it to you too. So that's the end. That's the end of my story about how I found sketching. It is something that I think you should try too. If you have the slightest creative or artistic bone in your body, which I know you do because everyone does. If you can if you can write, if you can make nice handwriting or even wonky handwriting, but if you can make your handwriting, then you can sketch. So that's my story. That's how I found sketching. And I hope that you enjoyed this short little video. We certainly enjoyed the cake. And I look forward to sharing more videos with you. Bye now.